So you're looking for some effective soccer training that's going to help you improve both your skill moves and your dribbling ability. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a full routine that you can use as many times as you want in order to improve both of these areas. What's up guys, Dave here from Simply Soccer where we help you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch and on this channel we release daily tips, technique and training videos so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe. Okay so the length of this routine is really going to be determined by you. I will give you all the drills and show you all the drills and then give you my recommended amount of time you spend on each or recommended amount of reps however you do not need to stick to this that's just a template for you to follow meaning if you don't have that much time you can shorten it and if you have more time and you want further improvements you can lengthen it. So this routine could probably take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour depending on how long you want to spend on it. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you each of the drills in the order that I recommend you do them. Again, you don't have to follow the order, but I recommend you do them in this order. Um, and then you can always adjust it as you see fit. I'm going to do a voiceover while I'm doing this so that you can know exactly what's going on. Anyway, let's get right into the training. So actually guys, make sure you're getting a warm up before you do all of this as well. I'm not going over a warm up in this video um, just because I figure most of you have your own little routine. So make sure you're getting your body warm. Do a 10, 15 minute warm up where you do some dynamic stretches. You get a few touches on the ball. And once you have done that, move on to the first drill, which I'm about to go over. Okay, so we're starting this routine off with some cone drills. Um, this is a very good, um, just simple, routine to do, simple drills um, to do in order to get plenty of touches on the ball, improve your close touch on the ball, close control, um, and of course your dribbling ability overall. Um, and what we're going to be doing in here, as you can see, we're going to be weaving in and out of the cones um, with our right, and then we're going to do the same thing with our left, and then we're going to do it with both feet. So you're going to see both of those demonstrate in here. Now I recommend, again, that you do this at least um twice two sets of each one so that means you'll be going through with your right um for at least two sets same with your left and both feet um and i would count one set as going in and out of the cones and then in and out of the cones again if that makes sense so you'll go in and out of the cones all the way up in and out of the cones all the way back then you'll turn around and do it again and again and that's one set um so do two of those for each one of these now while you're doing this um, remember, you want to focus on getting good little touches on the ball. You're not necessarily always focusing on just speed. You can see I'm doing them kind of quickly, um, but you'll work up to that. So for now, focus on getting good, small, quick touches on the ball. Um, and the more you do this, the faster you'll be able to go. But I don't want you moving through it 100 miles per hour and taking really heavy touches. So really concentrate on getting good touches on it, really concentrate on getting many touches in as well, and then you can gradually, as you continue to do this drill, start going faster and faster and faster. And an important thing to realize when you're doing this is to always be challenging yourself. So do go a little bit faster each time. You know, you should be hitting cones at some of the times, okay? If you're going through this every single time and you're not hitting any cones whatsoever, it probably means you're not challenging yourself enough. You don't want to make it easy on yourself because then you're not pushing your body, you're not pushing yourself, you're not pushing your skill level um, to that next level. And the way to do that is to make sure you challenge yourself. Okay, so again, my recommended um, amount of time on this or sets is two sets for your left, your right, and then both feet. Um, and again, one set is going through the cones up and back, and then up and back again. So that would be one set. So you're going to do that twice for each foot. After you're done that, you can take a break. You can take a break in between sets if you want. Um, but remember, don't take too, um, don't make your breaks too long. Um, because we do want to work on our fitness a little bit here. So just catch your breath, make sure you're able to go again, and then go. If you have to take 30 seconds, that's fine. If you have to take a minute, that's fine. Again, this will um, get better the more you do it. Okay, so for the next drill, we're doing the Ronaldo Box. Another one of my favorite drills for many reasons, because you get plenty of touches on the ball, and you also have to move quickly and take quick touches and react to every cone that's kind of in front of you. You're also trying to find your fastest way out of the box. Um, what I mean is you're going to be moving a little more quickly through this one than you would, say, the Ronaldinho box, which we will also be doing in this routine. 
So take quick touches, but get out of the box, turn around, go back through the box, and you're going to keep doing this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now, how long you do it is going to be determined by what you set up. Again, it's up to you how long you do it. Um, but you can do a set of 30 seconds, or you can do a set of a minute. You can do a set of even more. But I recommend you do 30 seconds and go as hard as you can during those 30 seconds so that you're tired by the end of it, and then take a break, and then go again. Or if you're not tired after 30 seconds, go for a hard minute and then rest okay so you're going through this and remember to involve both of your feet remember to be doing moves while you're doing this escape the box turn around weave through the box again turn around and keep doing that for whatever amount of time you set for yourself now again i recommend you do at least three sets but i always say if you want to do more you can do five sets where you can do five sets of 30 seconds each a minute each or whatever time you set um take as you no know, long a break as you need between sets but again you want these breaks to be fairly short um because you know you do want to tire yourself out here you know the more you tire yourself out the more you're going to be able to last in the future at these drills remember the more you push your body the more fit you're going to become, the more you can push your body in the future. So you want to remember that when you're doing these drills, you want to be tired at the end of them. So you're going to do this one again, focus, really focus on getting those quick touches and avoiding the cones as much as you can, turning around and doing the same thing, weaving in and out. And remember, it's okay if you're hitting cones. In fact, it's probably good if you are because you're challenging yourself. If you're going through this whole drill and you're not hitting any cones, either the cones are not close enough together or you're not going fast enough. So challenge yourself to not make it too difficult where you're hitting a cone every single time, but make it challenging to the point where maybe you're hitting a cone or two over every set, okay? And if you do hit a cone over, or if you don't have cones that fall over, you just hit a cone, just keep going, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? You can just keep going, don't stop the drill. So you're gonna do that 30 seconds or a minute for three sets to five sets. Um, to turn, that's gonna be based on how much time you have and your preferences. Then take a break and we'll move on to the next drill. Okay, so since you have the cones already set up, we're going to move right into the Ronaldinho box, which is very similar to the Ronaldo box, except the only difference here is we're going to be staying within the box. We're not going to be weaving in and out of it. Um, now, this is it is very similar, but with this one, I want you to be focusing on many more quick touches and really keeping that ball glued to your feet. Um, you know, you're not going to be moving quite as fast probably with this. Um, you're going to be focusing more on getting, you know, plenty of touches, but you still, again, want to challenge yourself. If you're hitting cones, don't worry about it. Um, you know, if you're hitting too many cones, feel free to spread the cones further apart, but if you're doing this perfectly without hitting any cones, probably should move the cones closer together. Like I've been saying, you want to be challenging yourself to the point where you're making a few mistakes here and there. Trust me, guys, it's better to be making the mistakes here in training and getting better and better than to make them all in games, okay? So don't worry about making mistakes in training. Um, you know, you want to be challenging yourself. Now, again, for this one, we're going to do the same time limit or sets that we did for the Ronaldo box. So it's going to be um, 30 second sets or minute sets or whatever time you want to do. Um, but if you know, if you're doing this hard, if you're doing this to the best of your ability, after 30 seconds to a minute, you're going you're to be feeling it. You're going to feel a little winded. Your legs are going to be a little sore. And that's what we want. Remember, we're not doing this in a lackadaisical kind of way. We're doing this hard. So if you're doing it for 30 seconds, you're doing it for 30 seconds as hard as you can. If you're doing it for a minute, you're doing it for a minute as hard as you can to when, so that when you're finished the set, you are a little out of breath. You know, your legs are a little bit heavier. That's what we want. If we were just doing this and we were kind of weaving through the cones and you were just kind of doing it like 60, 70 percent, you're not going to get anything out of it because you want to be challenging your body. You want to be challenging your touch. You want to be challenging your dribbling. So do that again, do three to five sets. And again, you can always do more, but, you know, doing more than that's a bit overkill. So do three to five sets um, and then, you know, take as much of a break as you need. Not too long. And we move on to the next one. Okay, so we're on to the next drill, and this one is probably actually my favorite drill of all time. I know I go on about the Ronaldo box, um, cone drills, and, you know, every drill I've put in this, um, in this video I like. I mean, there's a reason I'm including them in this video, but this one is probably my favorite, and it's spontaneous dribbling. And the reason this is my favorite is because you have to, it, it, it trains you to think on your feet. Um, this is not something where you have cones set up and you get to weave through the cones and you know what you need to do. This is one where you're going to do the first thing that comes to mind and you're going to do it for a set amount 
of time. And what this is going to do, it's going to teach you how to react. It's going to teach you that if you need to do something within a split second, that you, it's going to teach you how to do that. You're going to get better at doing those kind of things and reacting to situations instead of having to think about it. And when, we, when you do think about it, soccer really is a game where you need to rely a lot on instincts. There'll be times when you can think. But for a lot of it, you're going to have to rely on your instincts. And how we develop that is through training. So this is one of my favorite drills for that. And essentially, like I said, what you're going to do is you're just going to find a bit of space like I have here. I mean, I don't even have that much space right here. You see, I have a lot of objects around me as I'm dribbling around them. But I have enough space to dribble around, and I'm just doing the first thing that comes to mind. So you saw me do a few step overs, a few Maradonas, a few... Um, you saw me do an Elastico there um, a, f a couple times. And I'm just doing the first thing that my I think of and my instincts tell me. Um, and this has served me so well in matches, doing this drill often. Because there'll be many times, maybe I'll turn and there'll be a player right on me and I'll just instinctively do something like a um, La Croqueta because I've been doing it when I've been doing spontaneous dribbling. So when you're doing this, you know, it's good to do a lot of moves. It's good to do a lot of quick touches. And again, we want to do this hard. There's no point doing this and casually moving around. There's no point doing this, you know, 50 or 60 percent. Yes, you'll get plenty of touches on the ball, but, you know, we're trying to train our reactions here. And if you're only doing it at 50 and 60 percent, that's not a good way to train your reactions because you're not going to be reacting as fast as you could be. So again, it's only going to be for 30 seconds to a minute per set, but you're doing that 30 seconds to a minute hard. Soccer training does not need to be long, two, three, or two, three hours, geez, um, like hour long to two hour long sessions. I mean, you can do that, but you want to be tiring yourself out and ex like kind of putting as much effort as you can into whatever amount of time you're giving yourself to train. So even if it's for 30 minutes, if you go hard for that 30 minutes and you're fully focused during those 30 minutes of your full training session, you're going to get more out of that than if you were to have an hour and 30 minute training session where you were not going that hard and you weren't that focused. Okay, so back to the drill though. Again, do the first thing that comes to your mind. Um, I would do this for 30 second sets at first. Um, and then once you get a little more fit and you kind of developed a little more, or if you're already at that stage, do it for a minute sets. And again, do three to five. And that's going to depend on how much time you have. Um, and that's also going to depend on your fitness. But do at least three sets of either 30 seconds or minute each of doing this and this drill guys is again this is going to help you so much it's it really really especially done on a consistent basis is going to help you with your dribbling is going to help you with your skill moves um, is going to help you with your reaction um, in situations um, in game like situations which is of course something we definitely want to work on so after you've done that again take a nice little rest uh, a minute or two and then we'll move on to the next drill Okay, and then we're going to move on to skill moves. Um, you know, some of these drills that we've been doing, like spontaneous dribbling, um, Ronaldo box, you can also do skill moves in. Um, but this one, we're going to be focusing deliberately on the three skill moves that you want to develop. Now, for this, because we're doing a routine that's specifically on dribbling and skill moves, um, you can do three to five skill moves if you want. But make sure that your three skill moves that you want to master are included in this now again when you're doing this deliberately go as hard as you can and fully focus on your move again it's not good to just good enough just to go around and lackadaisically do step overs or do your maradona at half pace or whatever move you choose like do croix a little bit slowly because you're going to get used to however you practice i mean i'm sure you've heard the saying that goes something like you know practicing if whatever you do in practice you'll be doing in games i mean i forget the exact quote but it's it's true if you practice slowly then in games you're going to be used to playing slowly play at game pace so if you're doing step overs for example do them to the best of your ability in practice do them as hard as you can you will be a little more tired for doing this but that's only going to benefit you that's only going to make you more fit it's going to get your muscles more used to doing the movement your body more used to doing those kind of movements which is what we want which is going to allow you to do them better in matches okay so do do your three skills um and i would say do them for at least 10 reps each foot for those of you doing the skill moves challenge this is great because you can just do this and this will be um your your skill move 
basically reps for whatever you're doing done for today. Um, but for those of you who are not, you know, do this anyway. So pick your move, three moves. So it could be a step over, body feint, and croif in my case. And I'll do 10 each foot to the best of my ability as hard as I can, okay? Again, once you're finished all your moves, you may feel a little bit tired, but that's absolutely fine. That's actually a good thing. So you can see right here, I have a bunch of different skill moves listed for you, just in case you want to choose something different than what I've selected for myself. But again, really focus on the move here. Really focus on the mechanics. If you find that you do a move and you're not too happy about it, so let's say you do a step over and you're like, you know what, that didn't feel good or that didn't seem so good, you know, analyze it. What didn't you do right? And you can go, well, maybe I didn't lean that much. Then on your next rep, do that. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I want you to be fully engaged in what you're doing, because if you're daydreaming or thinking about something else, you might not catch that. If you're doing it casually, you won't catch what you're doing wrong. But if you're doing it seriously and you're fully engaged, you will. And then you can correct it for the next time. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching. Question of the day is which drill out of all of these do you need to work on the most? Of course, I recommend you doing this full routine, but again, if you don't have as much time, you can always just pick out individual drills and do them. Which one do you think is going to be the most beneficial for you and why? Let me know in the comments down below. So much for watching. Make sure you share this video with someone who needs it. Make sure you also subscribe if you're new and like this video as well if you want to support the channel. Um, remember to come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. for a brand new video and I will put two videos on the screen like always that can help you improve even more as a player. Thanks again for watching guys and remember this is Simply Soccer where we help you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch and I will see you in the next video.